Tom Kiss, the Lynn Insider. Tonight we start our winter sports coverage from here in beautiful Chino Hills. It's 85 degrees today, so you would never know that we're here during the winter season. Boys and girls basketball will be the focus, boys soccer. But for tonight, we've got a great girls soccer matchup for you. South Hills, which is undefeated, and Chino Hills, probably everybody's pick to win the Sierra League. They've only had one loss and some big tournament victories. If you're looking at South Hills, you're talking about a team that has 58 goals. The school record is 61, while Chino Hills has been shutting out opponents right and left. We will bring you the highlights. We'll bring you the interviews from this brilliant soccer match right after the game. The much anticipated Sierra League opener between Chino Hills and South Hills. The Lady Husky teams facing each other. Chino Hills starting it without Ashley Gonzalez and Amanda Ball, who is headed to UC Santa Barbara. They both sat out the first half for disciplinary reasons. And it would be Chino Hills at the start of the game as the teams went back and forth trying to score this ball makes its way out to Dana Garcia out on the left side she's gonna work it down into the corner trying to get across in it gets saved by South Hills keeper Melissa Mejia who was able to shut out the Huskies until the eighth minute when Alexa Oriante gets this ball and stays with it number 22 Emily Shields kicks it off her leg into the goal. Unlucky for South Hills. They trail one to nothing early in the game. It was a game in which they would pretty much dominate in the first half. This corner kick by Haley Zerbel is missed by Amber Marinero at the far post. Still down one nothing. South Hills gets a free kick. From about 25 yards out, it goes off the crossbar. Destiny Collins misjudges it. The rebound bounces around. A save there. Then Haley Zerbel with this flip throw. And the disorganization of the Chino Hills defense sees the ball bounce around. It gets out to Zerbel once again. She's going to make a great move right there. Get in across, and the ball's going to bounce around once more. Clear it off. And still bouncing around. Back out to Zerbel once again. And just when you think Chino Hills was about to clear it, South Hills would get the ball back. Center it. And a shot just goes wide. South Hills then gets the ball. And it comes down. They get a shot on goal. Destiny Collins is right there to make the save. She would shut out. The Lady Huskies of South Hills for the first half. Haley Zerbel down the right side gets a cross in. Nobody home to put it away. Frustration showed in her face. Second half action. South Hills once again on the attack. This ball goes out onto the right side. Zerbel. Gets a shot on. Ricky Ives makes a save, but Amanda Ball, who comes in in the second half, trying to get this to Ashley Gonzalez. Gonzalez on a breakaway, just puts it wide. She was upset at herself. She would make amends for it a little bit later. Dana Garcia is going to get this ball, take it into the corner. Looking for some help. Makes a great move. Of Eludes three players. And then a shot just goes wide for Chino Hills. But they would get the insurance goal. And it's going to be Ashley Gonzalez. Beats two players right down the middle of the defense. Gives Chino Hills a 2-0 lead. They were in command. They dominated most of the second half. Thanks to Amanda Ball and their defense who... Held tough. Ashley Gonzalez. Good little move there. To Amanda Ball. She gets the cross in. It goes off the goalpost. And Gonzalez on the other end. Shoots it just over the top. One last chance. For Chino Hills. It's Dana Garcia. With the free kick. 
It gets saved, but the defense couldn't clear it. Eventually, Chino Hills was ruled off sides. They finish the game. They go to 1-0 in the Sierra League. South Hills gets their first loss. They're 0-1. It's a 2-0 victory for Chino Hills tonight. We talked to their victorious head coach, Andy Placentia. What's your thoughts, Coach? Obviously, there are a couple of big pieces missing in the first half, and you, you put them both in the second half and really controlled the game and got the second goal. Yeah, I thought a lot of girls stepped up in the second half. Uh, way better than the first half. Uh, just the mentality was different in the second half, so it was good to see. But South Hill is much better, as you guys see, much improved. Probably the most improved team. They should finish in the top three. They're a good team. Scott's done a good job over there. Talk about your, your top two players. You sat them out, I understand, it's for disciplinary reasons? or uh, No, it was just my, my decision. There was some injury stuff they have to handle and sort out. So it's just stuff within the team that we right. just within the team. Yeah. And obviously, as soon as they came in, the complexion of that. Just in the first shot. Yeah, they bring a lot of energy, but even the back line was a lot more organized. Yep. The center mids were showing up a lot more. The quality was back. So we just talked at halftime about getting back to our game. I know it was a big game. We were excited to play a team that was undefeated, a team that has scored a lot of goals in preseason and beating a lot of teams big time. Uh, we just wanted to show them what, what we're Talk about your defense, uh, especially through the North Orange County tournament then playing Santiago once again. And now another shutout tonight. Talk about that. They have been big. Uh, we focused on it. That's one of the goals they set. They want to be very organized defensively. They understand that we want to get to where we want to get to. We have to be able to shut teams out. I think it's been the last six games where they haven't allowed a goal, so they're working hard. Uh, they're taking care of the bodies and much more mature this year than last year, so really proud of them. South Hills goes down in defeat for the first time this season. We talked to their head coach, Scott Mockaby. It's true. Our, our non-league and our uh, tournament schedules, those types of things, with the exception of maybe one or two teams, we haven't played anybody that's like the Sierra League. Um, but but you so, would never know it the way you played tonight early on. You played as, well. We play as hard as we can, but that team is very, very good. Yeah. And that's probably the best team. Second we've half, seen. I mean, they put their, their two big guns in, and that really changed the pace <laughs> of the game. I'm pretty upset with Andy about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, those are two very, very special players that are obviously on our radar. Um, and they are very difficult to contain. Uh, we can talk about ball pressure and we can talk about help and there there's so much pace to their game and they're very smart players um, it's going to be tough it's something that we're definitely going to have to work out before the next time we play. Alexa Orianta scored the first goal for Chino Hills giving them a one nothing lead six minutes into the game we talked to her about her goal tonight. about that first goal that you scored? Um, I was just as the outside back kicked it up I was just following up and the girl happened to lose the ball and so I got in front of her and I saw the goalie out and so I was about to shoot but um, I was just I couldn't I didn't have enough step good stepping and so uh, she caught it from behind me I guess I tried kicking it in and ricocheted off the defender. This is a big emotional win for you they were number one in the valley how does it feel to beat these guys? It feels good you know they I <laughs> I was really happy about just shutting him out 2-0. We stepped up second half and did a good job on that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Denise Garcia has been leading the defense for Chino Hills all season long. They came up big with the shutout tonight. We talked to her right after the game. You guys came into this game having allowed a goal in the last four games. Uh, and you play against a, a team tonight that scored 58 goals in the season. How big was that for you guys to shut them out as well? Um, defensively, defending and like making sure we had our shutouts is a big deal. So shutting them out was great, a good start to the um, league. We're, I'm a little upset about how many chances they got because we take defense like very, like, um, we think of it like very like highly and we emphasize it like during training and stuff so um it's always a big thing set big goals for ourselves the chess for you is going to be claremont what what what's that going to be like when you get to play against them um i think out of all the games it's definitely going to have an emotional impact um more mo more of an emotional impact just because of um, our history and how great of a team they have and stuff but we're going to take it um, game by game and just um, treat them as if we're playing a uh, charter elk or a yala or anybody else just play our game but congratulations Holy destiny collins shut out south hills in the first half we talked to her about her performance tonight as well as the past couple of games two nothing shut out tonight uh over south hills you were in in the first half when they were really dominating what was going on back there um, they were just really high pressuring and they play a lot of um, direct balls so it was like not that we couldn't handle it but it was just a little bit different like they were at a high pace and since it was the first half we were just kind of adapting to it. You guys have been really dominating your opponents lately, uh, four or five shutouts in a row. How important is that for you guys as a defensive group to continue this shutout streak? 
uh, I find it really important as a goalie, and I just I feel like it, it gives everybody a lot more confidence, like the whole team, confidence in the back line. They had one real close uh, one, uh, went off the bar on that free oh, kick. Yeah. Talk about that, that play. Um, I actually thought it was going out, but I just decided to go for it, and luckily I did. But it was a nice kick. Congratulations and good luck next week. Thank you. Ashley Gonzalez gets Chino Hills a second goal. Turns out to be an insurance goal that they needed. We talked to her right after the game. Ashley, a uh, big goal clinched it for uh, Chino Hills tonight. Talk about that uh, goal tonight. Oh, it was an amazing goal. I um, Just coming in the second half, was I was really happy to get that goal from, I don't know who was it in the midfield. Just turn on their defense and um, shot it left to the corner. You know, you guys have been shutting out a lot of teams. South Hills was undefeated. How important was that for you guys to beat this team tonight? It was very important because we've heard they had such a great season, like preseason, and so we just had to come out and show them that we don't play around like that. So Chino Hills hands South Hills their first loss of the season, a 2 nothing victory for the Lady Huskies, who are going to be playing Charter Oak on Friday. While it doesn't get any easier for the number one team in the Valley, South Hills, they are going to be playing Claremont. Claremont, with all their tough super sophomores, are now seniors, and that will be another difficult challenge for the Huskies of South. This is Tom Kiss reporting from Chino Hills High School for the Tribune Sports.